Hey, welcome back. Everyone, it's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. You know, I didn't get a chance on my first look of Middle Earth Shadow of War. I didn't get a chance to go through a high dynamic range and also to talk about a couple of things. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, why is peak brightness so important to you? Well, here, this is the reason why. Because high dynamic range thrives, breeds on that peak brightness and color. Deep dark levels, sure, they're important as well, but not as important as peak brightness and that color gamut. What makes HDR stand out, it's, it's peak brightness and color. Now, OLED, sure, has perfect deep dark levels. Every and each organic light emitting diode emits by itself. Therefore, you're going to have perfect deep dark levels. But if I put you in a magnolia, in a very dark room, and I show you the OLED. I put on the left side, I put the OLED, 65 inch. And then on the right side, I put QLED, 65 inch. Dramatic, drastic difference in HDR. And this was the main reason why I returned my OLED. Number one, it was 55 inch. Uh, it was too expensive. It was $3,500. Okay, it was actually $3,200, but still way too expensive. Over $3,000. Uh, and look, all it's a great. I tried all three generations of all it's. If I had to choose one, I would choose C6 because of that beautiful 3D that it has and that curved design that makes the 3D looks even better. I have nothing against OLED, but the problem is, at this moment, OLED needs to be brighter. It needs that higher peak brightness. Meaning, if you have OLED and you're watching it at night in a dark room, it's going to be fine. But if you're watching OLED like during the day, it's just not going to be that great. Okay? So, if OLED can reach... 1200 or above 1000 peak brightness nits then hooray great checkmate then they win but i don't think they'll be able to pull that off all right uh qled to me can go as high as you want uh they can put these uh emitting uh leds and these quantum dots they can cramp them up all in there and they can crank up that peak brightness as, as high as you want. So they can be a great contender for the Dolby Vision. And Dolby Vision thrives on that peak brightness. So that was really my only reason why I got rid of the OLED. And I know this is the question that's been asked of me every day. It's almost like... Like Jimmy Hoffa question, like what happened to Jimmy Hoffa? Where's Jimmy Hoffa, right? It's the same thing with my OLED. What happened to OLED? Where did the uh, OLED Hoffa go? No, really. It's really what it was. Like where did the Jimmy OLED Hoffa go? I returned it way back in late July. That's when I returned it. And that's the reason why. My next TV most likely is going to be QLED. Now, what type of QLED is going to be? I'm not going to tell you. I'm still fishing. I'm still looking. I'm taking my time. You know, uh, CES Vegas is just around the corner. I want to see what new type of QLED they're going to be releasing. Okay, so we'll see. I mean, I might get Q7F uh, with that Christmas money or whatever. But um, it'll definitely be QLED my next TV all right so I just spent four minutes explaining to you 
that I got rid of my OLED and the reason why I got rid of my OLED. I have nothing against OLED. If that's what you like, that's what you like. OLED is just not for me. I need that peak brightness for my HDR. OLED is just too dark for me. Okay? Hopefully, this answers your questions. What happened to OLED? Now you know on this video. Me having answering that question, can we just please move on with this shadow wall HDR analysis? Let's do it. All right, here's the, the main factor where HDR plays in here. Now, when we talk about peak brightness, we're not talking about peak brightness that blinds you and you can't see nothing. We're talking about peak brightness of detail that shines on every texture. Even down in a distance, you're able to see the detail. You're able to see detail everywhere. But the only way to take full advantage of high dynamic range it's if you really have a high peak brightness and full wide color gamut, which this Samsung KS8000, thank God, has both. And this is why I'm able to have such a fantastic HDR picture here. Look in the distance, uh, the, uh, the sunset. Look how detailed that is. And even his armor, it's detailed nicely here as well. You see how much detail you see right here on that armor? It's because of the peak brightness. Now granted, uh, a high resolution of 4K here, pixel by pixel, 8 million pixels, definitely helps. There's no question about that. This is why high resolution and HDR, they were made for each other. They breed with each other. Okay? It's like organs they need. They need each other. And as you can see right here too, how beautifully the HDR is rendered. Peak brightness. It's being presented in, in such a detail where you can see the clouds detailed as well, along with the, uh, the cliffs here being detailed with the peak brightness as well. And even here, look how beautifully that's being represented with the HDR. I mean, there's no question about it. Uh, HDR and the textures and the resolution look fantastic on the Xbox One X enhanced version. Now look over here. Look at the draw distance. And even in the draw distance here, you can see that peak brightness detail being properly rendered here with HDR. Now you see what a huge role high dynamic range plays on Shadow of War. Now, look PlayStation 4 Pro does an excellent job as well rendering their games Uncharted, The Last of Us okay uh, PlayStation 4 Pro does a great job as well however Xbox One X can do it better why? because it has that extra horsepower available for developers like this one okay 
from Warner Brothers Interactive Studios. I forgot the developer's company, but I know it's published by Warner Brothers. They have the necessary tools to bring you this game in the best possible quality on the console. And this is why I recommend if you have both Pro and X, well, of course, you're going to go with the X version. Now, I want you guys to pay attention here to the textures. I want you to pay uh, He's on the roof right now. He's walking. Don't ask me why he's on the roof, but he's on the roof, okay? I want you to look at the textures, and I want you just to look and see how detailed they are. Not only are they detailed, but they're scaled with very high resolution, dynamic resolution, near 4K, probably about 7 million pixels, and then upscaled to 8. And that's the dramatic difference you get. And then you add the HDR. Well, there you go. So I'm going to walk around here a little bit. And it runs fast, too, as you can see. No issues. No problem. HDR peak brightness here. It's killing it. Look at it. Look at it right here. Look at the textures even on that person. Just some random guy using the arrows, bow and arrow. Just look at that. And look at the textures here at the bottom. Highly detailed. And look right here, the HDR peaking right there, naturally. I mean, look, it's a one thing me showing you this through my camera, even though I'm close, but it's a whole other thing you seeing this in person. Until you see it in person, then you truly realize, ah, that's why I spent $500 on a console and $1,500 on a really good TV with a peak brightness and HDR. And look at the draw distance too, like right here. Look, look at the... Uh, Right here, look at that waterfall, look at the draw distance, the smoke effects, all of that stuff. This is all in 3D rendered. Look at this world. And look how beautifully it's uh, rendered without any hiccups and that's what you get my friends when you have good HDR high resolution and graphical enhancements possible by the Xbox One X alright let's do some fighting here or something really quick I want to show you something right here this is what I wanted to show you top of the world top of the world with the HDR 
And I think this is the best way to end it right here. Like this, on top of the world. We're going to do a little Peter Jackson pan and scan rotation camera. All of this is rendered in 3D. The draw distance, everything. That waterfall. This is all running without any hiccups on Xbox One X. Any hiccups at all. And just look how beautiful it looks. Look at that tower. That's in 3D. You can actually climb that tower, believe it or not. Which I might have to do. And look at the HDR right here. Look how beautifully it's represented. Okay, roll the credits. The movie's over. Directed by Mr. 4K Upscaler, produced by Peter Jackson. <laughs> okay, just kidding. So there you have it. All right, it's a short video, guys. I'm a bit tired today. I'll have some more videos tomorrow for you. But I enjoy this. And what are you waiting for? Go buy this game. Or wait for the uh, Monday, Cyber Monday, and get it for half a price. What do you want to do? You want to wait? get it for half a price or do you want to pay the full price i say wait a little while you waited this long you can wait till monday some uh monday cyber, cyber monday and get it okay cyber monday 27th of november all right guys take care have a good one though mr four cap scaler out Colonel, this is Mr. Four Gap Scaler. He's signing out. Later. Naomi, get off my bed. No, actually, Naomi, you can stay. My bad. <laughs> All right, guys, take care.